By the way, did you hear the Neuralink thing? It's coming up. in human testing now. Yeah. Th- this is, <laughs> gang, I-, I know if you're a longtime listener, I know 20 years ago you thought I was just a babbling madman when I would talk to you about the singularity and talk to you about what tech was going to be like. Ten years ago, same thing. Five years ago, maybe you started going, oh, I don't know. I mean, I guess people are talking about it. Two years ago, same thing. You need to understand the singularity because it's on our doorstep. And that is through Elon Musk and Neuralink. It's going to be heralded as a great thing. And believe me, as a father of a daughter who has had strokes, this would change her. It would make her probably whole because the problem with strokes is the pathways for information. If you think of the brain as a roadmap, there are bridges that are out. And so it takes longer for information to go from one place to another. And sometimes it can't get there at all. What Neuralink promises to do is to is to bridge from one part of the brain to the other part of the brain electronically. So that it's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. And has the potential to be a miracle if it were to work. Miracle. People, if you had a stroke, you could go back. The promise or the hope is back to where you were uh, before the stroke. Mm. Uh, I mean, that's, that's, that's a miracle. However, it also will connect to the internet and it is elon musk's way of saying we've got to come up with something fast and cheap because this is what the left is going to do and people want to control and there's got to be something out there that will be a good version of this where if you want to learn spanish you just download it i mean it's very matrix it's here don't dismiss this. Is, it's here. Is Neuralink the same as as an AI? Because that, that's no, what he's worried beginning. about. Yeah, okay. it's the beginning. No, but Neuralink's more of like health type reasons, isn't it? No, it's to digitize the brain for health reasons. Okay. But that's step one. Mm. The other steps as it goes links you to the internet uh, so you can download and upload information. And remember, it, it's a pipe in your head. This is when the um, this is when the economic forum says, uh, yes, uh, we've lost some privacy. People know what I'm uh, doing, know where I am, know what I'm thinking, even what I'm dreaming. But it's all worth it. Okay, that's what they mean, because you will be able the government or these institutions or whatever will be able to go into your head. And know what you're thinking because you're using the backbone of the internet to think and research. And it can go into your head and retrieve dreams. It's extraordinarily dangerous. And think of the targeted advertising uses for this. Like if every time I think about Taco Bell, I get a coupon from Taco Bell. (laughs) Do you I mean Or all the times you don't think about Taco Bell? And yet you're thinking (laughs) about Taco Bell. Oh, there can't be more times I'm thinking about Taco Bell. That's not possible. So, Stu, there are two stories that I barely understand. Let me start with the one that I really am a little foggy on. Um, For any mammal, the loss of the Y chromosome should mean the loss of males and the demise of the species. However, the Amami spiny rat manages without a Y chromosome and has publi- uh, puzzled biologists for decades. Now, a Japanese scientist and her colleagues have shown that one of the rat's normal chromosomes a- effectively evolved into a new male sex chromosome. Now, I hate to get all sciencey because I don't know how these rats identify. I don't oh, know no. any of their pronouns or anything else. So w- the reason why this is... Um, this is uh, important is because the Y chromosome seems to be uh, getting weaker and weaker. And uh, in a lot of mammals, including man. Mm. And once you lose the Y, 
uh, then what happens? You've only got females, uh, end of the species. So that's why they're they're looking into this because they believe that we are headed for the same kind of thing. Which end of the species? Yeah, I mean, you, I guess think of just all the car accidents. I mean, the, oh my we, gosh, we only women drivers? It would yeah. be crazy. Yeah. Oh my gosh, and women presidents and CEOs? Oh gosh, oh. I, just shut the thing down. Lord, you know? please come now. <laughs> anyway, uh, so, <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> That was largely just to piss off Sarah in the other room. Oh, it is. Uh, uh, largely. 100%. <laughs> and, of course, the fact that it's true. Right. Uh, so the next story is a quantum computer has simulated simulated a wormhole for the first time. Now, do you know what a wormhole is? It's a, it's a space thing. It's like a yeah. sciencey space thing. Okay, so mm -hmm. it's like you take a piece of paper. Mm-hmm. And you fold it in half, then you, uh, I think, fold it again. Okay. And you put a little hole in it, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, you would see that there would be two holes in the piece of paper. Uh, yeah. If you, if you Looks open like it like a up, mask okay? right, with yeah. your eye holes. In fact, it's almost the perfect <laughs> mask. Okay. So, and probably Fauci would have me wear this. Anyway, um, so a wormhole is a way to collapse the distance in between those two holes, okay, mm -hmm. in space. Mm hmm and then they are right. You go through one hole, and you're right there because they're next to each other. Right, instantly, if, yeah. If space is folded, mm -hmm. okay? So that's the idea of a wormhole. You could travel great distances through that quickly. So this has just been a theory. Scientists with a quantum computer have just simulated a wormhole for the very first time. Now, it gets very complex because they say it was a holographic, but it's not exactly a holograph. Uh, it's, they're just, they, they just simplified uh, things by taking gravity out of the equation, which gets into Einstein and theory of relativity. So they had to have something that would take gravity out um, and see if they could uh, simulate this. Well, they did. And what this means is you could have, without any wires, cables, Wi-Fi, nothing, you can take something digitally and send it from, let's say, my desk to a desk in London, and it would exist in both places. And you could close one of the doors, and it would either come back to me and only be here, or I could close my door, and it would be in London. They just did this. This changes everything. This changes everything. This is, you remember Einstein when he was, they talked to him about quantum physics. He said, God doesn't play dice. Meaning there is no super, uh, there's no super position of, uh, of a molecule or a, I don't even know, of a, of a qubit, they're now called. It can't be both positive and negative. It can't be both one and a zero. Mm. But quantum says, yes, it can. That led him to say, God doesn't play dice. It's, it, it, it doesn't work that way. Remember, the theory of relativity is only a theory. It's the best theory we have on how things work. Quantum comes up and says, I don't think the basic soup, I don't think it really goes with any of those physics I think it breaks down at some point and starts behaving completely illogically. This shows that uh, Einstein may have been wrong. Maybe God is playing dice. This, 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 the things that we have on the horizon are so groundbreaking and just quantum computing. Dude, All I of this stuff will change life in ways we it's like we're standing in the 1200s and trying to imagine today but it's going to happen in the next 50 years do, do we have any idea where this would end up like what what would what would be the end game of this type of technology if it if the it biggest were thing with quantum computing is you will you will probably solve cancer in a week you will solve these problems that cannot be solved because it can model a million different things all at the same time so remember, Einstein, um, uh, Edison said, 
you know, I didn't find a, 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 I didn't fail a thousand times. I found a thousand ways the light bulb doesn't work. That will, you'll only fail, you'll fail and succeed one time because you'll try all of the combinations all at once. Mm. And you'll have the answer. It feels like there are so many things right now on the fringes of science, like where we are really, where scientists are are, are playing, right? They're, they're at the, the very edges of understanding where they can go, but see the path forward. You know, some of these problems like this one are just beginning to be solved. And there's so many different directions, whether it's, you know, we talked about the singularity or, or whether it's uh, quantum computing or all sorts of different technologies that it feels like one of these is going to hit in a way that totally changes the world almost so, immediately. But in, in a way, let, let's look at the telephone for a minute. Put yourself back at Alexander Graham Bell's time. Mm -hmm. Alexander Graham Bell comes up with it and people think, oh, this is great. Look at this. But nobody's going to have a telephone for a long time. Yeah, they, they and, say about everything. Yeah, and they think, oh, well, I'll, about just, electricity. Right, I'll just go to, you know, the town square that will have a telephone and I'll be able to call... You know, Washington, if I needed to talk to the president because it was an emergency, mm -hmm. they were thinking like that. They would have never thought, think of the phone today. It's no longer cordless. I mean, it's no longer corded. Right. It, it, it doesn't no longer... work with, ri uh, with, with, uh, with wires. It doesn't, it, it's a television. It's a camera. It, I mean. It's no longer really even for phone conversations. Right. right? I mean, it's a, and that's, I, I think, a really interesting example of how this goes. It, you think about the singularity for a second, right? Singularity being eventually we merge with machines. Tell me if this is a terrible description, but yeah. my very terrible understanding of it. Eventually we merge with computers where we are able to access information Instantly, because we have a, maybe a chip in our head or whatever that we allows have, us. To, uh, right. And we, we also have uh, nanobot technology in us in our bloodstream mm -hmm. that is keeping you alive. You don't have to take medicine anymore. The nanobots are programmed to take care of your body and it repairs itself through technology, which is connected to AI, a giant machine outside of your body. Right. So uh, you're one with AI. You're mm -hmm. one with machines. You're your hybrid person. Who, who is that's the, the singularity? That's the singularity. So if you think about, let's just say for information purposes, you want to get an answer about something in in this world of the singularity. You want to you know know who was uh, you know the the president of France in 2004, right? You, it would instantly, you'd be able to access that information instantly inside your brain, basically. Yeah, right now you, you have know. to go to to Google, open mm -hmm. up Google, mm -hmm. and type in your question. Right. The singularity, the way it would be imagined to be used at its highest level would, oh, who was the president of France? Oh, it was so-and-so. Uh, Right. Okay. You know the minute you think it, the answer is there. Right. Because you're connected to everything.